Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Paulio Jr. And in today's video, uh, I just wanted to do a simple comparison between 4G LTE speeds and when you are connected to your router, or should I say <laughs> my 4G LTE speeds when I'm connected to my router using Wi-Fi. So just a little warning uh, before I start. If you do hear um, the dog barking or moaning, I apologize. It is what it is. So um, we're gonna be using the app called SpeedCheck Pro, uh, which I found to be a lot more um, specific than uh, than speed test. And speed test, the pings are, are kind of crappy in my opinion. So I'm not actually going to hit test because my, uh, my IP address does come up uh, while I am testing and I really don't feel like blurring anything out. So what, what I'm going to do is just show you my history. So it'll show you everything just without my IP address. It'll just show you if you see um, the date and the time um, and then what I was using over here, uh, the network type. So we'll do date and time and yeah. So 523. Okay. So we will do the, these are the latest ones that I have done. And depending on where I was, I saw uh, different results, but long story short, for me personally using 4G LTE um, and then also connecting to my Wi-Fi, uh, the average, uh, speed difference as far as download um, speeds go is about 13 times slower. The 4G, LTE, the 4G LTE is uh, roughly 13 times slower. And that can all depend on where you are in the house, uh, how close you are to the nearest tower. That's why it's always important to update uh, in your, in your settings, I did this in a previous video, but if you find your uh, where you can update everything, update your PRL, update your profile, this makes sure this makes sure that you are connected to the closest uh, tower. And the biggest difference too, as far as speed, um, you'll see if you're using cable, uh, which is what we have. So we have uh, Comcast. And those speeds can always vary because you are technically on a shared line as opposed to, let's say, DSL uh, or, you know, some kind of uh, T1, T3 connection, something like that. So anything that's not dedicated and you are technically sharing with other people, uh, you'll see ups, upswings and downswings of your, uh, your, uh, your bandwidth speed. So, but you can see here, uh, the last one that I did, I was only downloading at 2.68 megabits per second, which I feel is atrocious. But uh, in actuality, when people are using uh, their phones for their uh, and, they, and they're connected to LTE, uh, they're using a lot of uh, maybe like social media apps, so they don't need all of that speed. Whereas if I were to use this on my PC and I was downloading at 2.68, you know, even that 6.24 down here, uh, even if I was downloading at that, I'd be like, oh my God, what the heck is going on? But you can rarely tell the difference on uh, using a cell phone. So that's the only nice thing. But I just wanted to show you just the average uh, difference in speed, like I said, is, is roughly 13 times so, uh, connecting the Wi-Fi is roughly 13 times faster than using uh, your mobile data connected to 4G LTE. And the other thing that I did want to bring up was that uh, T-Mobile is currently uh, working on uh, 5G towers uh, in the U.S., and they're doing it in 20 cities. Uh, I know it's, I know definitely New York City, definitely Los Angeles, and, you know, and 18 other ones that I'm unsure of, but I, I definitely know those two, where the 5G is supposedly 
five to 10, I'm sorry, 50 to 100 times faster than 4G LTE. It is an incredible, incredible jump. Uh, I'm sure that uh, I, I'm guessing you're going to need, you know, either a different SIM card or a different uh, or just the, the newer phones that are coming out will have the, the compatibility for it. Um, but definitely look out for T-Mobile because they're trying to take over uh, the whole cellular arena. So, and that's really all I have today. Just wanted to show you guys uh, this cool little program that I keep forgetting what the hell it's called, Speed Check Pro. Uh, like I said, it has a lot of cool little features on it, including uh, a schedule to auto test a new Wi-Fi if, once you connect to it, um, the history of all your speeds, and then you can even go into analytics, you can change your settings in here. Um, yeah, so you can even set your cellular download limit. Mine's set at that little infinity symbol uh, since I have unlimited. Um, you know, my average values per month, week, day, year, all that good stuff. So um, it's it's actually it's a pretty decent uh, pretty decent program, and I do prefer it over speed tests. I think speed test is a little a uh, little overrated in my opinion. And if you're going to use it on the computer. Uh, you know, on, on a tower um, or laptop, uh, I would actually check out DSLreports.com because uh, theirs, theirs is extremely accurate um, in my experience. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, definitely check out uh, Speed Check Pro. And it's just funny to me looking at this background and knowing that that was outside <laughs> around here. Um, a little bit over a month ago and now it's you know we're approaching the 90s <laughs> so already but thank you guys very much for watching check out speed check pro and just know that in general using uh 4g lte is 13 times slower than if you were to connect to your wi-fi uh, connect to your router so thank you guys and that's all i got i'll see you in the next one